Oh, Bubba. <laughs> you know you done messed up with, when you're caught up in uh, <laughs> my man fishing with Mike's radar, man. You caught up in the crosshairs. Well, I can prepare, man. I got my uh, popcorn here. And I got my, my little drink right here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So we is good to go. But first, intro. I -oh. So I got to get my hustle on. I -oh. So I got to get my hustle on. Yo, what's good, guys? Your boy Jason JV here. And um, yeah, I, I knew it would be a matter of time before my man Mike here. <laughs> To add his uh, to add his two cents on this whole situation, and uh, I I gotta put some respect on that title. That title is, that title itself is funny. It's called Lip Duty Country. Uh, more dirt than Ryan Upchurch has. <laughs> Bruh. Woo! Let's go ahead and get right into this one by liking the hit hit. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this one too. But hit hit. In the beginning of all this up church drama, we were introduced to Dad Burn Johnny <laughs> Yeah. And now today, I'm gonna introduce you to my cousin. Y'all know him well. You gonna see why he's mad at Ryan. He's gonna introduce himself. So be prepared. How y'all doing today? He got the he got the girly pink cowboy hat on. Oh, with the red frame shades. Oh man, this is gonna be good. Let's go. It's lamp duty country, <laughs> and I just want all you to know, I'm more country than you. <laughs> you see all that dirt on my chicken pen, <laughs> huh? You see all that dirt by my pond? <laughs> yeah, apparently the more dirty you are, the more country you are. Or should I say the more dirty you is, the more country you is. <laughs> Y'all don't know what country is. Y'all don't know what Ryan Upchurch did to me. <laughs> Ryan watched a few of my videos. And then Ryan invited me up to Cheatham County. Mm-hmm. To ride go karts and motorcycles, and Ryan heard my song and said he was gonna make me the next Blake Shelton. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> um, again, what I find amusing about this whole situation is the fact that you know, for for someone like you know, uh. Look, I forgot his original name because that stupid lip duty country. It's so funny. <laughs> I love it. It's funny. Oh, fuck. Um, with HDC, put it out there that, uh, that, that, that he was, that he had his ego stroked and he liked it so much that he allowed himself to be talked into pissing away 4K and it's somebody else's fault for that. Like, bruh, it's not, it's no, it's your fault for being such a dumbass and getting cut and buying into your own hype. <laughs> I'm just saying. Let me give y'all a sample of my song. I got dirt on my boots. <laughs> I got dirt <laughs> on my floor. <laughs> well, that dirt, it makes you country. I got more dirt than ever before. <laughs> I played that song for Ryan when I was down there hanging out with him. <laughs> and Ryan said, don't worry about it, buddy. I'm going to make you a musical legend. You're going to be in the Grand old Opry one day. And my text is loving ass. Limp duty country. That's got a nice ring to it, don't it? <laughs> never... Limp duty country. 
<laughs> called me. And now Ryan's got damn Boosie Badass on his album. Uh oh, not old Boosie Badass. Bro, you should have called him the, uh, the uh, Lip D country. <laughs> I'm just saying. I should have been on the remix of YZ. I would have did much better than Boosie. Limp Duty Country would have did better, Ryan. <laughs> See what I tell you about, old boy, jealous. <laughs> you can't put dirt on my damn floor. I be messing with these Texas whores. <laughs> See? Should have been me, Ryan. <laughs> but you didn't call me back. You didn't make me an album. I need to grab my phone for this. See, I like that Muhammad man here about the fact that old boy, you know what I'm saying, wanted to uh, do things on the phone and whatever. Sorry, I missed your call. Um, I was just calling you back to uh, let you know that I, I love you and I miss you. Oh, I really, I really want you to call me back. Oh, and I'm sorry I missed your phone call and that I, I, I know you're done. So, so when you get this, can you call me back? Oh, I love you and I miss you. Oh. <coughs> Brad, <laughs> I just had to play that for, for old limp duty. <laughs> Let's go. And then I sent you a text message and you said, who is this? There is only one limp duty country out there, Ryan. <laughs> I'm very upset that you did not, what's a big Texas word? You did not acclimate me. <laughs> is that right, honey? Yeah, acclimate me. Saw Ryan rent out an entire damn go-kart arena for this crazy girl. And I got jealous because there wasn't a go-kart that had enough dirt on it for me to ride. <laughs> All I asked Ryan to do was put some dirt on the go-kart where I could drive it, but Ryan <laughs> wouldn't do it because I got to have a lot of dirt. So, if you want to really know what I'm upset about, then I'm about to tell you. This is my proof. This is my proof of what Ryan Upchurch really is. Johnny Gobble has been trying to tell y'all. And now I'm going to tell you. Here's the truth from Fishing with Mike. A guy that knows neither one of y'all and enjoys trolling. The truth is, you took the Let's Go Brandon thing that Ryan <laughs> posted a while back. Where he clearly said in the video, I am tired of everybody asking me to say Let's Go Brandon. Yep. Because a lot of us have moved on with our lives and mm -hmm. we're tired of hearing it every day. We still yep. hate Joe Biden, but we don't want to hear it all the damn time. We have better stuff. Thank you. Thank you. It's just like anything else in life. You know what I mean? Look. So I, I'm, I'm Hispanic, right? Let me, let me give you all a little, little little story about, you know, little Jay growing up in the hood. My next door neighbors that we used to live next door to, right? Now, you would think, being that I'm Hispanic, I would like to hear, like, you know, some, some Mexican music, right? That, that good old mariachi music and whatever, right? When your neighbors are blasting that shit 24-7, 365, at some point, you're going to get tired of hearing that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, it, it's no different than the fucking, you know, let's go Brandon thing. You you hear that so many times. Eventually, you're going to be like, okay, all right. It was funny. Now, it's not funny no more. All right? It, it, it's lost its luster. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. The, the, the fucking novelty is dead now. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I'm just saying. Stuff to do with our lives and constantly say, let's go, Brandon. Yep. And the other thing, you're so butt hurt that he did an album with Boosie Badass when you're claiming that he should be ashamed because of Bo how Boosie feels with his uh, viewpoints on police and everything fact of the matter is boosie grew up different boosie's probably seen yep. things down there and there's probably been corrupt cops boosie coming not yep. all cops are bad but that's boosie's feelings to feel mm -hmm. how the fuck he wants because this is america right facts i said this too boosie is entitled just like the rest of us 
like I said, I've been through different experiences with police myself. I had run-ins with the law myself. And I'm still here. What does that tell you? But see, that's my experience though. Boosie's experience is different from mine. It's different from Mike's. You know what I mean? Just like my experience with the law is different than Mike's experience with the law. If he has any experience with the law. You know what I mean? Everybody's different and we're all entitled. Bruh, let's go. Number two is that Ryan saw an opportunity to mm -hmm. make an album with somebody that he grew up listening to. And I yep. guarantee you him using Boosie was because it's fucking Boosie badass. And that is fucking awesome to have him on your album. Yep. Because he yeah. is a legend in Southern rap. See, there you go. And I agree with that wholeheartedly. Let's go, Mike. Number three, you're just like Johnny Gobble. You're mm -hmm. posting all this shit and claiming. Thank you. Said the same thing. It's like Johnny Gobble. You're posting all this shit and claiming all this stuff, and you're posting no facts. Thank you. All. None. You posted a conversation between you and Ryan, which you could have changed anybody's contact to Ryan Upchurch. Yep. You haven't showed any of the money that supposedly he kept of yours. You're acting like a, a girlfriend, an ex-girlfriend, who's just pissed off that somebody doesn't acknowledge you anymore, and you're mad. Hence that little phone call sound bite I played earlier. <laughs> That's what Deuce sounds like. Because you didn't get your big shot. And finally, you're sitting at about 500,000 subscribers. I'm going to get a lot of hate from your subs, but really, I don't give a shit because I'm just an everyday 12-hour shift working guy that's having fun trolling dumbasses like you and Johnny Gobble because y'all... Facts, and I'm already getting, getting hits from uh, HDC's uh, little, little, little nut riders. Bruh, and that's fine. Y'all can keep coming at me too all you want. You're not going to scare me off of this platform. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> all you trolls are all alike. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh. I should have played that. That's, that's racist. I'll bite, but no. <laughs> That'd be too obvious. Let's go. I'll have nothing better to do than be jealous of what another man does. Grow the facts. Facts. This dude is working his ass off, right? Doing what he loves to do. Making music and making content, other content here on this platform. Talking about, of course, my man Church. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... The man has earned everything that he's gotten, every step of the way, everything that, that, that the man got, he deserves because he's earned it. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, and, that, and that's and my man hit it right right on the head. All these people coming out of the woodwork that just want to tear this man down by talking all this shit, calling him names, you know what I mean? Picking on him for the, for the way he dresses up, the way he looks and everything. Yeah, all you motherfuckers are just butthurt, man, because you can't do what he does. <clears throat> and it's eating you up inside. You're dying inside because you, you're, you're nowhere near church's level. Bruh. Let's go. The fuck up, man. For real. Seriously. Grow the fuck up. For real. Yep. You are a bitter, bitter ex-bitch woman made girlfriend. <laughs> yep. I got more dirt on my dick than you. Uh oh. Damn, you got so much dirt on your dick, man. And I would hate to be any, any woman that wants to, you know, be penetrated with that thing, man. Because odds are she's going to catch a, a, a yeast infection or something. And to all the reaction channels that are going to have fun with this. Can I get a... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, salute, salute to you, Mike, for this one, man. This, this one, this one was good, man. I like it, man. Not only was it a comedy video, but then my man was able to add in his two cents, to which I do agree with. Yo, so out of love and respect for my man, Mike. You know, I gotta mash that like button, man, because this was fantastic. If you guys are with this as much as I am, y'all know what to do with that link for the original video. Hold up. I'll drink to that too. <clears throat> so you guys can watch and listen to this on your own free time, uninterrupted as you would like. And don't forget, guys, if you're with this reaction, uh, y'all know what to do with that uh, thumbs up down below. You know what to do with that comment section down below. And uh, whew. <laughs> I love Mike, man. I love his humor.
<clears throat> guys, don't forget underneath the original video link, we got the link for the second channel. If you're into you know wrestling, gaming, and all kinds of other cool geek shit, that is the link for you to go click on. You know what I'm saying? Please, it would mean the world if y'all can go and support the second channel as well. I do need to post um, an updated WWE 2K22 news related video on there. Excuse me. And then uh, don't don't forget. Uh, below the uh, link for the second channel, I got reaction request instructions. If you have something that you want me to check out, please look over those instructions. And uh, yeah, and no pressure. Remember, free requests are just as important as donor requests. I respond to them just as quickly, just as swiftly as I possibly can. <clears throat> so yeah. And below that, we got two store links. Uh, Spring Merch Store, Cool Hawaii CBD. Both of which will have their own uh, discount slash coupon codes to help save you on all your purchases. And uh, yeah, and of course, don't forget if you can't support the channel financially, hey, no worries, all good, no hard feels. Trust, I understand. You are still helping out in the long run by simply making sure you are subscribed to the channel if you're feeling what I'm doing over here. And uh, make sure you got your bell notifications set to all so you never miss an upload. Doesn't cost a single red cent, but still a big help nonetheless, hey, especially if you're new here, of course. And of course, that also goes for all the folks I rock with. In the folks I rock with section, let's show the fan bam some love too while we're at it. That'll be greatly appreciated. I think I nailed everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. So y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all in the next one. All right. Peace. Can I get a hi? Yeah.